Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am Vanessa and I live in a van and I ask God for a van and not a man. How are you guys doing today? Ooh, 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 ooh. Lord have mercy. Y'all, I had to start a new live because my other phone over here is full of storage and I need to edit. And so, it's full and the battery's dead. So, I just came from the nail shop, y'all. I thought I was getting powder. Somebody tell me in the comments bar below what is powder. I got acrylic on my nails. <laughs> and she just laid it over the top they tried to put some tips or was asking me to get i don't want no tips i said i just won't i don't want no tips i don't want no extension she was like okay okay so they put the stuff over my nails and i didn't know i was getting acrylic i didn't know y'all i don't know i'm new to this i ain't true to this and i got my toenails painted white and i you know the girl that did my feet, she did a good job. She put the rocks on there, the hot rocks, y'all. This was my first time having the hot rocks on my legs. And that felt good. But the polish just don't look as crisp and pristine to me as it should look once I get close up to it. And then I did notice a couple of little imperfections on my nails that I didn't notice when I was in the, in, in, in the inside. So, I'm not hard to please, you guys. I'm not a complainer. Like, I gave them a $5 tip each. Uh, it came to $60, y'all. With the tip, $70. I didn't know I was going to walk up in there and spend that much money today. <laughs> Can somebody tell me? A pedicure. I thought I was getting a manicure. But I ended up with some acrylic. I don't know what this is called. Can somebody tell me? So now I'm getting ready to go to Walmart because I want to see if they got something on the dollar rack. My friend want me to go look again for her since I'm right here. I'm gonna go look and I'm probably gonna get some wine cooler. Oh, I just called Justine. I think me and Justine have ESPN. I didn't tell her this just now. But I just called her and she getting ready to go live or she told me she was going live later today. And I was like, hmm, should we go live together? Or I was going to kind of sort of ask her. But then when I called her, she was like, Vanessa, y'all know Justine is, I wish I had her energy. Like her and B-Love's life is from the same place. I think their energy, they need to bottle that energy somebody can somebody from michigan or wherever they from bottle the energy so i could be like <laughs> vanessa <laughs> y'all i wish i could be <laughs> i wish i could be bubbly like that but i'm just i'm just not a bubbly i'm just not a i'm a i'm more of a minor tone y'all i worked in customer service before and we used to get monitored all the time. Um, and we had companies that, you know, we were working for and representing. And I would always get a hundred on my quality assurance scores, but sometimes they would say, well, can she be a little bit more lively? And the people at the company I work for, they went to bed for me. They was like, she is lively. Like if you've seen her talking, they say she just monotone. And I just wish I was more, <laughs> ah, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not like Be Love's Life and just the, uh, but I still feel like my personality comes across. I still feel like people feel like I'm funny and I'm happy and I'm go lucky, but I'm just not bubbly. Like, I'm just not bubbly. But 
Do y'all tell me what y'all think? Tell me in the description bar below, in your own words, how would you describe my personality? And I'm going to leave it at that. I want you to tell me what you think about me and what you think about my personality. Uh, I don't think I'm bubbly. But you, I don't want to put words in your mouth. You tell me what you think. So, y'all, I am going to Walmart and I'm going to go look at the dollar rack again. And I am going to get some wine coolers. And then after that, I'm going to go to Papa's Barbecue. A subscriber sent me a gift card. And I'm going to let their gift card treat me today to Papa's Barbecue. Or maybe I'll save the gift card for when I know because I don't think I'm going to spend $25 today on food. If it comes to $25 after my drink and everything, then maybe I'll spend it because I don't want to have extra left over on the card and then I don't use the card. I don't want to keep it in my wallet with just a couple of dollars on it. So I want to use it somewhere when I know I, sh I was going to use it earlier today when I went and got my oil changed, but I forgot to use it. By the way, I got my oil changed and the people that changed my oil, they weren't too big to fit in my front seat. Even though he was a little big, I asked him, did he want me to move the car up? And he was like, no, y'all, he was scrunched up here like this. <laughs> He was scrunched up in the front seat, y'all. But them other people, they didn't want to change my oil because they couldn't fit in there. They they barely probably was touching the sterning wheel. And instead of just saying, ma'am, I'm too... Which well, the guy did tell me, he said, I can't change it because I'm too big to get up in there. So that's that's really sad. That's a sad representation, if you ask me, of for the Walmart employees to not change somebody's oil because they are too big and they find an excuse not to change the oil. When this same specific particular place and change my oil two million times. So it just don't make sense. But if it makes sense to them to lose a customer, I should make a whole YouTube video about it. Because I really feel like, like y'all, I am one of them sticklers for good customer service. I worked in customer service. I believe in good customer service. I am a stickler for customer service. And I'm a stickler for uh, people having a voice and using their voice. And YouTubers have a platform. Like sometimes people abuse their position and their power because they look at the person and they think the person is a nothing and a nobody, but they don't really know who that person is. Like they don't realize I have a platform with almost 20,000 subscribers on it where I can impact and influence 20,000 people with my opinion of Walmart's customer service. I like Walmart, but do I think they should have turned my vehicle down because they couldn't fit in it? Nope. I don't think so. So, and then find an excuse to try to blame it on the... Eh, 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 eh. Try to blame it on the... The sterning wheel column or whatever. It's just, it just, it just, it just makes it. If that's the case, you should have said, well, ma'am, are you willing to sign a waiver? Oh. What does my sterning wheel thing, a jig, have to do with you changing my oil? Okay, sign. Give me the sign of waiver. You you didn't do no damage to my car, and you're not responsible for the thing falling off. It ain't fell off all this time. So let's go into Walmart, y'all. <laughs> Look, I'm talking about Walmart, <laughs> and I'm going into Walmart. I'm not protesting Walmart. I love Walmart. I'm still going to shop at Walmart, but they should have changed my oil. They made me stand in line and wait for over two hours, then have to burn gas to go on another side of town to get my oil changed. That was just too much of an inconvenience. I'm not protesting. I'm just complaining. 
<laughs> okay, y'all, let's go in Walmart. So somebody Walmart. gonna say the tunnels, but Vanessa, Walmart did you wrong. So why are you still gonna go there and shop? Because I love Walmart, and sometimes some of the uh, some of the towns I go to camping, they only have a Walmart, and I'd be happy when I could see a Walmart. And the shoes that I have on that I got from the place for free, guess what? They was donated to that place by Walmart, y'all. Walmart does a lot for the community. Walmart is a good place, but should their employees take stuff too far? Like, I think it's taking stuff too far and making it personal when you don't do an all change on somebody's vehicle because you personally, look at this car just coming out, ignoring pedestrians, when you personally, don't do an all change on somebody's vehicle because you personally can't fit in a vehicle. That's taking stuff too far. So anyway, let's go to Walmart and uh, see if they have something on the clearance rack and give me some wine coolers. Cause Justine, she's a, 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 a. <laughs> look, she gonna be drinking some alcohol tonight. So we're gonna have a sip and talk we have no idea what we're gonna sip and talk about but my friend miss me and I miss her but we are still gonna continue this relationship we are in a relationship y'all <laughs> we are still gonna continue this relationship even though we are in another state so Let's go into Walmart. I'm about to put y'all on the speedy. Somebody say they didn't like the speed up. I'm about to put y'all on the speedy Gonzalez mode. Good morning, everybody. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Today is Saturday, the day of my meetup. So I'm about to get up. It's um, after 8 a.m., going on 9 a.m. I'm about to get up, pick up my mattress, uh, figure out what I'm gonna wear today, go to the gym, take a shower, and then after that, I'm going to go and get me some gas from Costco uh, before I leave this side of town. And uh, I'm going to put on some makeup today, I think. I'm not sure. But so that's what I'm about to do, you guys. So I will see you guys later. Let me pick up my mattress and... Uh, figure out what I'm gonna wear today so I could go to the gym and take me a shower. I have another errand to run before I do the meetup. I was gonna do the meetup at 2, 8, 2 p.m. but I changed it to 3 p.m. cause I wanted to give myself enough time to finish what I needed to finish and make it all the way on the other side of town cause it's an, on another side of town. And uh, so that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. And I will see you guys hey in Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to head to the gym. I just been in the van for over an hour trying to export a video on my phone. And I didn't have no storage. I didn't have to delete apps off my phone, footage off my phone, all kinds of stuff off my phone. 
still could not upload the video so finally i got it uploaded but it's in a lower resolution so i'm about to go to the gym today is my meet and greet day and i got some errands to run before i go there so uh i don't know if anybody's gonna show up but if not i will be sitting and enjoying myself some food today Okay, y'all, I just left out the gym, taking my shower, got on my clothes, my outfit that I'm gonna wear today. I haven't uh, put on any makeup or I haven't decided what wig or head wrap I'm gonna wear today. Uh, right now, I'm getting ready to, I got my jewelry right here. I'm gonna put on some jewelry and I'm getting ready to, uh, go throw some trash away and go get some gas. Um, a little past a half a tank of gas. So I'm going to um, go throw my trash away every day. When you live in the city, no reason to let your trash accumulate and you could just go throw your trash away so that's what i'm gonna do and i will see you guys at the gas station
Okay, y'all, I just left Costco. Uh, gas was $2.65 a gallon. It cost me about $50 to get gas. So now I'm about to ask Siri how to get to where I'm going. And I'm gonna see y'all there. Okay, y'all, I am getting ready to get on the freeway to head to the meet and greet. Uh, I still haven't decided what I'm gonna wear on my head and if I'm gonna put on some makeup. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up getting there like an hour ahead of time. So I could just sit in the van and put on some makeup. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Guys, I just made it to China Star. I don't know if anybody is coming to show up to meet me, but I'm here. Okay, y'all, I am waiting and I waited until 3.30. Nobody showed up. Nobody loves me, so I am about to go eat and uh, maybe somebody will show up, maybe they won't. But anyway, I'm about to go in and get me something to eat. Okay, you guys, I just left the meet and greet and we are gonna ride to the thrift store. The thrift store is down the street, down the road. Uh, and we're gonna ride to the thrift store and get some items, just do some shopping. Two ladies met me. I thought, I thought I was gonna be by myself, yeah. I was gonna come over here and cry. Oh, nobody loves me. But two beautiful ladies showed up. Thank you to the subscribers that showed up. I will include their photos. Uh, but yeah, thank you to the beautiful ladies that showed up. I really appreciate you guys showing up and showing out. And thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're headed to the thrift store. Uh, so let's go and we will see them there.
I'm sitting here talking to one of the subscribers who came at me today, Miss Jacqueline. Yes. And y'all, I was asking her, do you be watching me when I pull my wig off my head on YouTube? She was like, yeah. I was like, girl, what if I said I want to do it right now? It's itching me. What would you do? <laughs> That's what we're not gonna do. That's what we're not gonna do. No, not right here. No. I was like, uh, what are you saying with a drink? Um, can we have a menu if you don't mind? Please, I'll take some water for the starters. Thank you. Yeah, I was like, what would you do if I just pull my wig off? Oh, Actually, I thought I'd pull my mouth right behind me. <laughs> no, you would not do that. I see. If she do me, I'm gonna do her. <laughs> you want water? Yes, please. please. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So we are, we... We're going we to do that together. We met up at the Chinese restaurant. Then we went to the thrift store. And now our stomach is scratching our back, y'all. We hanging out all day long. So, yeah. That's what we doing. But we ain't going to do this. <laughs> okay, y'all. You go first. You go first. Dinner just came, steak tips, shrimp, rice, green beans, runny eggs, hash browns, and she got the same thing. We gonna eat with our hands because we ain't got no spoons and forks. <laughs> okay, y'all, me and Miss Gigi just left AHA. And I ate a lot of food, y'all. Y'all, I don't be wanting nobody to pay for my food. Because I be ordering so much, y'all. I had steak. <laughs> a steak dinner. The steak dinner came with shrimp. And some rice. Some green beans. I ordered a side of eggs. And a side of hash browns. And I ate it all. And I think I'm still hungry. <laughs> y'all, I got to get back on my carnivore diet. Because... I'm just not getting full. Like nothing is filling me up. And everybody's saying, you stay so small. You not gaining no weight, girl. It might sneak up on me. So anyway, uh, when I was at the thrift store, I bought some stuff for my friend. So I'm about to take this stuff that I bought for her to her house. Baby. I'm gonna go find me somewhere to sleep tonight. So anyway, y'all, um, I'm going to holler at y'all later. I'll probably come back and end this vlog when I get through. Um, when I go to my, wherever I'm gonna park it tonight. I think I'm about to call Justine right now and see what she doing. Uh, I seen that she was live and I haven't talked to my girl all day hi nutty buddies so if you haven't start taking advantage of the savings of scanning your receipts and racking up points to cash in for gift cards please take this opportunity to scan the QR code on your screen and input my referral code you will receive up to 2,000 points or more for just scanning my QR code and signing up and in addition to that scan your receipts daily you just click on the little orange camera hold it over your receipts scan your receipts daily to rack up points once you get to over 10,000 points you can cash that in for a gift card to your favorite place to shop, or you can continue to let the points rack up. You also get points through referring your friends and family members and sharing your code so they can sign up. And you also rack up points by spinning the wheel daily when you scan your receipt. So scan the QR code or click on the link in the description box below to sign up today. 
apologize for my voice, you guys. Have a blessed day. I could sit here all day, you guys. Beautiful. Say hey. Say hey. What you doing, Vanessa? Watching God.